In this video, we're going to show you how to connect one of the new Acurus Muse immersive home cinema processors. First, connect to the AC inlet, which is located on this side of the Muse. Notice that here is the fuse holder as well. Um, make sure that the power switch is in the off position when you apply power to the unit. First, we'll connect the amplifier outputs on the Acurus Muse. You'll see that there's 12 balanced XLR outputs across the bottom of the chassis. Also, there is a DB9 audio connection called aux out, and that has another four balanced connections that we'll show you how to make in a little bit. But we'll start with the front right speaker. Insert your balance cable, make sure there's a click, and continue to connect all the cables that are required for your speaker layout. Consult the owner's manual for your particular speaker layout to know which cables to connect and which cables are not used. Okay, go ahead. To connect four additional channels utilizing the Muse's full 16 channel capability, you'll need a Tetra cable, which is something supplied by Acurus in a pre-made fashion. It has a DB9 female on one end and four XLR males on the other to connect to your amplifiers. The cable itself is labeled AUX1, AUX2, AUX3, and AUX4, and it corresponds to information in the user guide telling you which channels are assigned to which output. To use the Tetra cable, simply plug in the XLRs to the amplifier and plug in the DB9 into the Muse, AUX output. The Muse supports up to two optical inputs. Remove the optical plug and plug your optical connector into input 9 and input 10 if needed. To connect a coax digital input, the Muse features two inputs, I11 and I12. Simply use a high quality coax RCA and connect to the input. The Muse features two pairs of analog inputs, I13 and I14. Simply connect these two with a quality RCA cable. The Muse features two downmix outputs, which basically create a mix into two channels of whatever is feeding the theater, whether it be a stereo source, or even a Dolby Atmos 916 source. Everything is down mixed to two channels and fed out either using a coax digital or a Toslink optical output. To use these, for example, using the optical output, simply remove the plug and use a high quality optical connector. Some installations may require a remote IR sensor, especially if the Muse is located out of line of sight of the theater and yet the theater is controlled by an IR remote. For that purpose, we provide an IR input and we also can provide an IR sensor that can be remote mounted and plugged into the IR input. You may be using a control system that has a trigger output using a 12 volt trigger control. The Muse has a 12 volt trigger input located underneath the IR sensor Connect to that trigger using a stereo 8th inch cable. You may want to power on an external amplifier such as our M8 or A2000 series or any other amplifier using the Muse. For that purpose the Muse has two trigger outputs that you can connect using a stereo 8th inch cable. To control the Muse with RS-232 control, use the DB9 connector that's located underneath the power entry module and use a standard DB9 cable. If your control system is using Ethernet control for the Muse and for the theater, 
connect to the Ethernet port found underneath the power module. Make sure that you connect the cable before you power on the Muse as DHCP negotiation takes place when the Muse is first powering up. The Muse features seven HDMI inputs. All inputs are HDMI 2.0 capable and they're all HDCP 2.2. To connect to these inputs, use a high quality HDMI cable and simply insert them for each of your sources. The Muse features two USB charging ports for devices that require USB power. For example, to connect a Chromecast, plug the Chromecast output into your HDMI input and then plug the USB power into one of the USB power ports. The Muse features two HDMI outputs. Note that the output on the right is the main output and this output is HDMI 2.0. This is the one that you should be using for your primary display. If you're using a directional HDMI cable, make sure that the cable shows that this is the source side that you're plugging into. Plug that into HDMI output 2 for your main display output. The output on the left is really meant for a confidence monitor at the rack while you're setting up the system and it's not intended to feed a second zone or an additional monitor because of the limitations and the rules around HDCP 2.2. We recommend just using the main output and an external switcher if more monitors are needed. This concludes this video about how to connect the Acurus Muse. For any other additional questions you might have, please consult the user guide or contact your Acuris representative. Thanks for watching.